What is going on, YouTube? It's bro, smile, man. You just came first place. Yeah. It's your boy Spanko. Today I'm here with Matt. Listen, you've seen him on the channel before, but he actually came first place at Sneak Peek today. We had like 30 something players here. He was playing something that I was talking smack about literally all day <laughs> since he got here in the morning. And uh, yeah, you came first place. So congratulations. Thank you. You're playing Exo Sister. Yeah, that's right. Of all decks, bro. Uh, I'm gonna let you take over from here though. Yeah. Um, so I played Exo Sister. I think the deck is like pretty good to be honest. It's got a lot of really good matchups into the both the current format and also like up the upcoming stuff. Like it's so good into Cheer Element. It's like okay into Splite, but yeah. that, that's kind of a weird one. Um, and I really liked how the deck played, so I decided to play it. All right. Uh, do you want to get into it? Yeah, sure. That's good. All right. So first things first, God card. Yeah, this card's um, nuts. You play it with the three uh, Ellis. Like these are the best six cards in your deck, right? Like the other the other names are all kind of mediocre, but like Malf like Martha is basically all your like all your plays. Right? Yeah. You want to see it in your opening. You want to search it. You want like sometimes I've even had games where I just like normal summon it, right? Because if you have like a DD crow or a way to move a card of your opponent's grave, you can just manually activate. Because Martha's the only one that actually triggers if either player moves a card out of the grave, whereas the other ones require your opponent to actually do something, right? Yeah. Also, I was watching this guy's final match, and this guy draws. Martha, like there's no tomorrow. Uh, like, what can I tell you? It, like, magnetized. You know? it's, it's, it's stuck to you. Yeah. Um, Ellis is a bit of a weird one, though, um, because the thing is, is that like it's basically your most precious resource in the deck, right? Because you're summoning off Martha. Or like, if you open it, a lot of the times, especially because you're gonna get Ash, you need to you need to summon it from your hand to make um, to like actually make a rank four. And the problem with that is like a lot of the times you'll go through like two in a turn, right? Like with like a Vadis or something, and like. I've had a lot of games where like the Martha that I draw or like the Martha that I search would be dead. Um, so you kind of have to keep in mind how how many you actually have in deck and like kind of just, it, it's a card that you, it's weirdly enough you don't want to draw it even though it's good to draw and it's probably one of the better ones to draw. Um, but yeah. It's all about resource management. Pretty much, yeah. Also for anyone who's curious, for a sneak peek you're allowed to play Martha. So it's not technically legal until next week, but for this event you're allowed to play this. Yeah. Because I just don't want to get a comment of someone saying, you're not allowed to play that yet. Crazy yeah, yeah, you are. Uh, worst one in my opinion, Stella. Stella's like, uh, well actually Irene's worse, but um, Stella's okay. Like, you know, you're never summoning it off of Vadis and like most of the time it's just there to kind of bait like imperms or ashes on people who don't know how the deck plays, right? Because they'll like, they'll try to negate it and if you have like an else in hand, you could just summon it from hand and just like keep playing. But like for the most part, it's probably one of the weaker names and like the first one I'd cut for sure, like in, if I'm cutting a name entirely yep. because um, at least with Irene, because I'm playing Sophia, I can at least, I can summon uh, the two of them off Vadis. Whereas with Stella, like if I'm gonna summon Ellis from deck, I'm, I'm just gonna summon a, a Martha anyways. So it's like okay. Uh, and then to Sophia, I play Pot of Prosperity. So like you don't really want to see this card often because like I've had too many games where like I'll like go like normal Sophia, summon a, you know summon an Exo, and then like draw one into Cross, and I'm like wow this is this is awful, right? Uh, then you play one Irene. This card is trash, but you need to play because it it's it's the name that goes with Sophia. Yep. Um, if they ever print like a second Martha for Sophia, I'm, that card is just it's gone. getting cut. Yeah. yeah, it's just gone. But for right now, you need to play the one. Yeah, you need to play the one um, because like otherwise you're summoning these two off Vadis, and that's really bad if you want to actually get into grind games. Makes so. sense. Uh, then for spells, I played the best Rhoda in in the format, in my opinion. A quick play searches any any cards like you can like add like the spell cards or the trap cards. Yep. Um, the thing that sucks about this deck is that all their spell traps pay eight to activate them. So like, if you don't play like relatively fast, you will go into time. Okay. And. It, you can, you will lose a lot of time because like the the main deck monsters have effects to gain life points, but ninety percent of the time it doesn't come up. I Makes think sense. today, uh, out of all my matches, I think I gained eight hundred once, and like it, it that's not relevant. Yeah. yeah. Uh, either way, this card's crazy. Like even sometimes, if you like draw it off Sophia after you've already like used it this turn, you can just like set it because it's also e telly. So like you can just set it, and then during your opponent's turn, if you have the corresponding game, you just summon. Um, like in testing, uh, I was playing against my friend time and I went like he, he went to move a card out of his grave and I went like baddest chain packs and I just like I, I put like four X's I had four X's most of the end of the chain it was really oh, fun my. yeah uh, so good card uh, I played two Armin. Um I think this card can, you can probably play one it's a bit of a weird one and it depends on what the like the actual relevant cards are in the format because the problem with this card is that you can't actually activate during your turn unless your opponent has a monster that's some from the grave 
So a lot of the times, like, it's good if you only open like the one exo name, like if you open like Sophia or like one Ellis and you have this, you can just set it and you still have an interruption during your opponent's turn because you can make um, Michaelis, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. um, so it's like, okay. Um, I definitely consider trying playing one, but it's something that still needs testing for sure. Makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, and then for the trap cards, the best cards in this deck, uh, three triple, three of the double E telly. Yep. This card's so good. And then three Returnia. I found that playing three is a little bricky. Um, and like a lot of the times, if I'm searching only one of the two, I only, I always want Vadis anyways, because you're all, you, like getting two guys, like getting two of the X's on the board and then just making X's on top of them is just so much better than like the double banish usually. Yep. Um, but it is nice because it's a, it's an out to a lot of cards. Um, in the format, it stops mine. It uh, it hits everything in the grave. So like you can hit like Chaos Ruler, or you can hit like uh, the like a like in my round uh, three against Branded, uh, he went like Tragedy right uh, to get back Brand Fusion. I just banished it from that, his grave. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. 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 I, and then the, the other two effects on it are crazy. Like I like if you have like both of these, you, you like ninety percent of the time you just auto win because this card can also XC summon during your opponent's turn. Yep. So like my my round uh, two against. Adventure Punk. Um, I had a I had these two set, and I had a Magnificon board, and he goes Dark Ruler, right? Um, but then uh, what happened is I went uh, Vadis when he went Chaos Ruler plus the uh, the Deer Note um, to summon two, and I made Michaelis Jibbering, and then he Dark Rulered me again. But because I had this, I made the second Michaelis or not sorry, the, same one, the second Magnifica on top by overlaying the Jibbering and the uh, oh, okay. and the Michaelis, right? And then he couldn't play through two banishes with just two two cards on field and like one in hand at that point. So like I just I just went from there. So, so by the way, okay, just because you brought it up, right? What were your rounds today? Because it seems like you played a lot of actual meta relevant decks. Yeah. So round one, I played um, Dynamorphia. Okay. Which was interesting. I brick game one, but I still won because he, he couldn't draw any of the good traps. Okay, yeah. And then game two, I ashed his um, frenzy. frenzy. Oh, yeah, yeah, they lose lost. to ash frenzy. Yeah. 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 So like that was that was pretty bad. Uh, round two, I played Adventure Punk. Yep. Um, Meta. Lost game one. Game two, he just lost to four banishes. Game three, I impermed his. Um, his uh, Halk, yep. and then I just, and then he passed on like Halk, Dagda, and Amazing Dragon. I just lava golemed him. Oh, there and you because go. I had packs, I just, I just summoned uh, Martha, and I just won off that. So that was cool. Um, and then round four was Mech Knight for anyone who didn't know. Yeah, round and round four was Mech. That was a, that was a crazy one. I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mech Knight making it to like XO to that point is crazy. Yeah, yeah. It, that was that was a fun one for sure. All right. Uh, and then for generic spells. This is the god card of, as usual. Yep. It's kind of weird because I'm playing a lot of hand traps, but the thing is, it's like it's still also like a DD crow as well to trigger like Martha, for example. Um, so like there, it does come up in both like offensive and de de like defensive situations. It's like crazy. There's no reason not to play it. Three pros. Um, this digs for like your entire deck. You always dig Martha, or you like dig a hand trap, or like dig packs, and like you're good. Or like even seeing the traps are fine because like I'll, I've had a lot of games where it's like I'll go like you can go like lava golem, and then just like dig for the trap and just set the trap and pass, right? Um, and that's all you really need. Because like, and like I play Lava Golem on the side because most of the normal summons kind of suck. So like a lot of times I'm better off if I don't have like a Martha or like if I don't have like one of the traps to get, like, get my plays going, like it doesn't matter that much. You're better off breaking a board. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Uh, but in terms of hand traps, I'm playing a lot of them. So I'm playing three Ash, three Ogre. This is for Sprite, but I didn't, I didn't see anyone actually playing it today, which was kind of surprising. Yeah. Um, it's pretty good too. It gets like the adventure synchro decks and like anything that's playing adventure. Uh, three Crow. Crow's okay. Um, the Crow, thing, Crow's gonna be nuts. Yeah, I, I like Crow, but like I didn't play enough Tier Almond. Or like enough decks that actually where it actually mattered too much. Yeah. I only I also only drew like twice, so it was fine. Uh, three Valor, Valor was good, and then uh, three Imperm. Um, so I know a lot of people are playing Shifter in the main, but I don't really I don't like Shifter just because it conflicts with how many hand traps you're like all the hand traps that like require you to actually discard to the graveyard. Yeah. Um, so I I made a decision of either playing Shifter and then cutting these six right, or I play these six and just put Shifter on the side, which in hindsight is probably what I should have done now. I'm not playing Shifter in like at all, yeah. but I'll talk about that once I get to the side. So Makes sense. Uh, either way, I was pretty ha happy with this. Maybe I'd consider changing the Crows, but I need to do a little more testing and I need to see once people start actually playing. Uh, yeah, I was like, 
say, yeah, to Sprite. Uh, until next format, like when next format starts, like Poke comes out, whatever. Yeah. I, I think Diddy Crow is going to become a lot more relevant. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and then for the extra, you play one Jibreen, one Asofiel. These, on these, these only come up once. Um, they're pretty good though. Jibreen is really nice because like the 2800 body does kind of matter, uh, but it's also Valor. Uh, it also helps you push for lethal because if you have like Jibreen plus any two um, Exos, that's like I think almost like it's either almost or like a little over AK. Yep. Um, a Sophiel has never come up for me, but um, you can like summon it. Like you can put it under like a Magnifica and then summon it during your opponent's turn if your opponent's playing Tier Element, yep. and then just like lock them out of the like the game. So that's, that's kind of nice. Uh, two Cast Patel. Um, Really good card. You just wrote a monster. Um, the the effect of summon from grave it can come up in theory, but like most decks, you'd rather do this the Sophiel than the Castell because like there's not a there's not a whole lot of cards that summon from grave aside from like Splite Elf yep. that aren't already in the grave. And like the problem with that is like if I summon this and activate the effect, they're just gonna chain Splite Elf anyway. So it's not like amazing. Uh, then I played the best one, uh, Banish, good yeah. effect. On field or in grave, uh, search of spell trap. You're always grabbing Vadis. Uh, you grab uh, Returnia if you've already, you know, grabbed the, like if you already have Vadis in hand. So that's pretty good. Um, and then two Magnifica. Uh, the second oh, one, maybe. the second one does come up, so you have to play the second one. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's th this card does everything right. It it gives you any of your excesses during your opponent's turn. It ma it's an XC summon, so like if you have this. Plus Returnia, that's four banishes, yep. right? And it's also just non-target banishes is sick. Yep. Uh, it dodges stuff like Imperm 2, which is nice. But a lot of times I have been blown up by like Dark Ruler or like Droplet or yeah, uh, yeah, like stuff like that, right? So it's it's still good though, and like it's the best card that you make. One Zeus. Um, I was playing two originally, but I ended up cutting it to one because like you rarely summon the one anyways because yeah. uh, Martha walks you into Exo Sisters. So like the only time you're actually making this is if like you know you hard normal summon like an Exo Sister and then like summon one from hand. So it's a bit awkward. Um, but you play it anyway. But you still have to play, yeah, you have to play the one up, right? Uh, one Exiton and one Baguska. These never came up, uh, but I I do, I think I'll cut the Baguska, but the, the Exiton could come up in theory. Yep. Um, but it's, so that's decent. Uh, and then for the extra, because I was playing Cherries today, um, I played Giant Sprite and ha uh, Half Fibrax. I couldn't find a Kikalos, but this should have been a Kikalos. Oh, okay. Uh, but that being said, I'm cutting these for sure. Um, because I think Reaper kind of sucks, and I made a mistake in playing it. Really? It never came up. Um, and not only that, but I just felt like any time that I was, like, what I would have even cited Reaper, I would have rather just had D-Shifter. So, oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so that, that makes sense. That's that. Uh, and then for side deck, um, free barrier. This should be Judgment, but I couldn't find Judgments for the event. Interesting. Uh, so you wouldn't play barrier at all? Uh, I don't I kind of don't have space on my side, is my thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and then I played uh, Free Reaper. This should be uh, Shifter. Yep. Um, and then Free Golem. Uh, of this, course. This one's a weird one. So I considered playing uh, Sphere Mode over Golem. But the thing with Sphere Mode is it's a bit weird, especially right now what, when we're playing in a sneaky format, right? You don't actually, like, you're not gonna, I'm not expecting to see, you know, Splay or Tyrone in every round, right? Or, like, decks where I need to, like, Sphere Mode. Yeah. So, like, I, it was okay to just play the Golems for, uh, like... The Punk decks? The, the Punk decks and, like, decks that don't, that, like, make smaller boards, like Sword Soul, for example, right? Yeah. Like, they'll end on, like, Chi Zhao Baron and you can just, like, toss this over, right? Whereas, like, if I had Sphere Mode, it'd be dead, so... Uh, yeah, so that was cool. And then, Man, it's really nice that you don't need your normal summon yeah um most of the time you don't need it it, it can come up but it's for the most part you don't need it yeah that's yeah. that's uh, nice. and then the last six i played three storm and three evenly i just wanted backer removal because like my one problem is like trap decks uh makes sense and like border and stuff like that so like i just like and like there's a lot of people at this locals who play like nonsense like that yeah so, like, i just wanted common. to have a lot of backer removal I would never play Reboot because this deck can't clear the board fast enough. Yep. Unless you're like, unless you have exactly the god hand to make Zeus, but at that point you're just wasting all your resources to make Zeus. Yeah. So. Um, so the only thing you would change here is the cherries. Uh, cherries, and I play Judgment instead of D Barrier. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And then the extra, like, I have a few things in mind. Um, 
like you could play uh, Constellar Omega for like the format Zeus setup. Yeah. Um, and there's a few like you can play a third um, cast to tell for like the grind game, but like there's a few things that I have in mind that I, I would put in those spots for sure. All right, well, guess what? We are gonna do an update when Pope comes out and that format is officially in place. But congratulations on your first place, bro. Thank I you. was talking smack all day, and he, you know what's funny is he literally told me he was like, I'm gonna prove you wrong, and uh, <laughs> bro, you, you actually did it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, congratulations. I have yeah, a few shout outs. No, of course. Uh, shout outs to Team Invoker. Shout outs to everyone on Touchable. Shout outs to uh, Harrison who hooked me up with the Marthos. Um, shout outs to Mariano, Aldrin, and Kent uh, who helped me test for the deck and kind of like learn it properly. Um, also shout outs to um, Andrew and Ryan um, who who are the who are the bigger testers. I've been testing with them for months for Power nice. and like they've been a great help to me. So yeah, I think that's everything. All right, sounds good. Well, if you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you, Matthew. Congratulations again. Yeah, no I would add Spanko and Matthew. It's fine and out. Peace. Peace.